Convicted drunk driver Fred Russell's case was back in front of a judge today. Russell's appealing his conviction for vehicular homicide and assault. KXLY 4's Eric Loney has been following this case since the crash and was in court when his attorney asked for a new trial. Fred Russell is currently serving a 14-year prison sentence for driving drunk and killing three Washington State University students and injuring three others. Today, his attorney argued here at the Washington State Court of Appeals in Spokane that his conviction should be tossed out and he should be retried. His attorney, Dennis Morgan, only had time today to talk about four of the 18 different issues they're raising in the case, including how the jury was selected and if the state had the right to take blood from Russell at the hospital after the crash. That blood found Russell was legally drunk when he caused the crash that killed Stacy Morrow, Brandon Clements, and Ryan Sorensen in June 2001. Soon after the crash, Russell fled to Ireland, where he changed his name and started a new life. He hid there for four years before he was found and arrested. Russell spent a year in an Irish jail fighting his extradition back to the United States, but he lost. Seven years after the crash, Russell was convicted of vehicular homicide and assault. At his sentencing, a judge didn't give him credit for the time he was in jail in Ireland. Part of Russell's appeal argues that time should be knocked off his sentence, but state prosecutors say no way because Russell was facing multiple charges in Ireland. The court read the rule to say that if you're being held on one charge only, in this case the vehicular charges, then you have to give somebody credit. And the court deduced from that reading if he's not held only on that one charge, I can either give him credit or not give him credit. In this particular case, I don't believe, and I submit it, was not the intent of the legislature to allow a situation to occur where there may be multiple charges, multiple counts filed by a prosecutor, and the prosecutor ends up coming down to a plea negotiation saying, you're only pleading to one, but because you've been in jail for a year, you're not getting any credit whatsoever. That violates the constitutional requirement of fundamental fairness. The attorneys in this case could not say how long it will take for the judges to make a decision in this case. They said six to eight weeks, possibly, but likely longer. Now, Russell is serving his time at the Coyote Ridge Correctional Center in Connell. In Spokane, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.